Welcome to the Charlie Reed Show with your host, Charlie Reed. On Saturday night, May 28th, 2022, Monique hit the stage at the Comedy Explosion Show at the Fox Theater in Detroit and startled the crowd with an unexpected, unfriendly roast of D.L. Hughley because she said that D.L. Hughley refused to appear at the event if she were the headliner. This is the basics of the conflict between the two, but there are many twists and turns this dispute has taken on as statements have been posted on social media by both parties, and it has turned ugly. They have both maintained that they were in fact the actual headliner of the comedy show that night, and Monique actually posted her performance contract, which showed she was hired as the headliner, and DL posted his deal memo showing that he was to be the headliner. I'm sure more receipts are coming and may have already been posted as we speak. However, my commentary is not really on the contract dispute between Monique and D.L. Hughley. It's the way it's being handled publicly. Monique has said some disparaging things about D.L. And D.L. has said some disparaging things about Monique as well, as they battle it out on Instagram, YouTube, and all over social media. As you may or may not know, D.L. has referenced Monique's sordid past, amongst other things, with high-profile public disputes that she had with Oprah, Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, Steve Harvey, and Netflix, which he used to sum up his conflict with her as a stereotypical Monique problem. And Monique has brought up past incidents with D.L. where she mentioned her displeasure with his feet being under her table in her home at an event and took shots at D.L. having what she called a therapy dog. She brought up his relationship with his wife and that the letters D.L. and D.L. Hughley actually stand for a down low brother. I could go on and on about the back and forth that is happening between the two, but my concern is how celebrities like Monique and D.L. use social media not to resolve conflicts, but to blow them up. Now, I'm not saying social media could ever really be used to resolve anything, but it is definitely used in a way sometimes that doesn't benefit anyone. I mentioned earlier that Monique did an unfriendly roast of DL at the comedy show because there are times when comedians will roast each other, but it is just a friendly competition utilizing their comedic skills on one another, and it's more about their craft than a beef. But the issue between Monique and D.L. is not friendly and has turned into a verbal war of words between two talented comedians. In my opinion, this really started out as a contract dispute that wasn't a personal beef between Monique and D.L. But apparently, each person's understanding of their contract has caused either a huge misunderstanding on one or both of their parts or some foul play on the part of their handlers that assisted them with this deal. And you would think that because this is a contract dispute, that they would have been able to get clarification fairly early on to resolve the legalities of their contracts by consulting a lawyer and or the people who drew up the paperwork. But unfortunately, we are still here today. The title of this video is Illmatic or Problematic because I have to admit, Monique's high profile public disputes made me give her the side eye when I first saw the headlines that she was having yet another dispute that has been made public with another celebrity. The term Illmatic is a name made popular by the well-known rapper Nas and is a positive word meaning beyond ill or the ultimate. And problematic is self-explanatory and has been how some of the general public views Monique. However, I also believe that we have to tackle our biases towards people when we know those biases are interfering with our judgment and weigh both sides of a conflict or a story to reach a fair judgment. So as I started to read about this highly publicized back and forth between Monique and D.L., I cleared my mind of my bias and just read about the story. I watched the clips of D.L. and Monique, read the Instagram posts, watched other vloggers' opinions on social media, and watched D.L.'s response on YouTube. I could show the clips and posts and continue on with this story, but my assessment stopped when I saw the clip of Monique on the stage at the Fox Theater going in on D.L. Now, I did hear that she was responding to a rant she heard that he allegedly had about the headliner status, but that was off camera. You may not agree with me, but I have a problem with Monique going on that stage and making a private matter public. 
And I have a problem with DL responding the way he did. There were some responses he had that stuck to the topic and that would have been fine with me because she exposed their dispute publicly and he responded publicly. But now they are just taking shots. So last night I watched a video that Monique and her husband made addressing the dispute. And I'll be honest, it made me upset because the husband kept trying to explain the legal issue and Monique was trying to explain away some of the unnecessary nasty remarks she made about DL. And she addressed some things that offended her that DL said as well. The problem for me is I don't want a breakdown of the legal aspect from her husband at this point, unless he's a lawyer. And Monique, just like everybody else, needs to own her insults and not try to logically explain them away. And I'm sorry, I don't believe that Monique was always planning on blasting DL that night because of some issues she discussed that she has had with him over the years. And the reason why I don't believe that is her rant on that stage that night was not about him and those grievances she has. It was about the who is the headliner issue. At this point, I'm tired of this back and forth and will sum up what I think they should do next by quoting a lyric from a song by Diana Ross. Stop in the name of love. If both of you are so right and at one time had so much respect for one another, then stop in the name of love and let the lawyers hash out your issues. Bloopers. So as I started to read about this highly public, <clears throat> excuse me. However, oh, the this, this screen went black. So I started to read about this highly publicized back and forth on the TV. Oh my God. 